What's going on, everybody? It's AJ here. Let's go ahead and take an updated look at my Big Ten power rankings for this week. So this is a tier list power ranking. We're going to break it down by favorites, contenders. So you're telling me there's a chance and better luck next year. Let's go ahead and start in the favorites category. Oregon and Ohio State, as of right now, are still my favorites, despite Oregon beating Ohio State this past week. So Oregon looked good, looked the part, and really got after Ohio State. I didn't quite think Oregon would be able to beat Ohio State, but they did. Uh, now, the reason Ohio State is still here and not Penn State, a one-point loss on the road in Oregon is not something I'm going to you know, knock Ohio State too much for because if they were to play on a neutral site, let's say in the Big Ten Championship, Ohio State would probably still be favored. So that's why they're both still in favorites. But as of right now, they are clearly the favorites to me because they have looked better than Penn State, in my opinion. But in the contenders, as of right now, I've got two. So contenders, Penn State, they are undefeated to this point. They're going to get their chance when they play Ohio State here soon enough if they can beat them. They'll easily jump up into the favorites with Oregon. They've done what they need to do, survive the scare against USC this past week. But as of right now, they are still in the favorites category for me. All right, contenders, I've still got Iowa here. Now, they did get handled by Ohio State. But looking at their schedule, even though they had that loss to Ohio State, I mean, with their schedule, there's really – a pretty good opportunity for them to win every other game. So I'd be curious to see what the tiebreaker looks like if something happened. You know, let's say Penn State loses a game, Penn State beats Ohio State, how the pecking order would work there. I would assume Iowa would, would be out most likely. But if they can, you know, go through and only lose that one game to Ohio State despite it being a beatdown, could Iowa somehow sneak into the college football playoff? It's a thought, but they do have that loss to Iowa State as well out of conference play, so probably not. But if Iowa State looks good, Ohio State looks good, it's a possibility. But as far as in the Big Ten, going to be tough for Iowa to creep into the Big Ten championship unless something happens. All right, so you're telling me there's a chance. These are teams that are quite not in contender status for me, but as of right now, technically, with looking at the way their schedule plays out and the way they've been playing, there's a shot that they could end up sneaking into the Big Ten championships first off Wisconsin they've looked pretty solid as of so far I was pretty surprised with how they played this last week and they look good uh now will they be able to win the Big Ten probably not but I I've been impressed so far with what I've seen from Wisconsin as of right now they're sitting with one loss I believe in Big Ten play Michigan so their offense is bad yes but with who they play they have the opportunity to make some noise let's say they dip Ohio State and Oregon somehow uh that defense steps up and somehow they beat both those teams they would easily pole vault themselves into a contender or favorite status. Nebraska, they do have that loss uh, to Illinois in a close one. So as of right now, that's kind of what's holding them back because Illinois will have that tiebreaker over them. But Nebraska definitely has a chance to upset Indiana here pretty soon, and that will change some things maybe a little bit. They'll probably still stay, though, in this category for now. Indiana, so I don't have them in contender status despite them being undefeated so far. They just haven't played anybody. Uh, so the more they get into the Big Ten play – if they can keep on winning, they'll easily vault up into contenders because they're winning. Uh, Illinois, again, they just have a close loss as well. They lost to Penn State. I think it was like 21-7, to 21-3, something like that. Uh, but Penn State did beat them, but Illinois has done what they need to do so far, and they've looked they look pretty good. I've been impressed when I've watched Illinois. Uh, and, again, if you've only lost to a team that's undefeated, that's a quality loss. Uh, better luck next year. So these are teams that I think are currently out uh, as far as Big Ten championship aspirations are concerned. So first off, the first – you have three or more losses. So Maryland, UCLA, Purdue, and USC are all out for sure. Uh, USC, I think, is definitely the best out of those because they can beat good teams. I mean, they beat LSU, uh, but they've just they've had a bad look at it and can't quite get over the hump when it comes to those close games. But they've played some tough teams as well. Washington, they've looked spotty. They've looked good at times. They've looked bad at times. Uh, but better look next year probably for them. Rutgers, I kind of thought Rutgers would do a little better this year. Uh not necessarily saying because they were great, but with how their schedule played out, I thought they would be a little up. Northwestern and Michigan State, not expected to be very good this year, and that's been the case. Minnesota, they are one that's – if there's anybody who's going to bump up from this too, so you're telling me there's a chance, it's probably Minnesota. Not saying they are capable of that, but with who they play, they play a lot of the teams in the category above them, so they could easily bump up over those depending on what happens. But those are my Big Ten power rankings at the moment. What are yours? Let me know. Comment down below. Make sure to like this video. and. Subscribe.